Hello everyone and welcome to day 19 of my 30 days of lives featuring the Stampin' Up! Retiring, retiring products, our annual catalog and our mini catalog are going away as of April 30th and um, there are lots of products that they are retiring, meaning they won't be available after April 30th or before because it's while supplies last. So once something is sold out, that's it. You can't get it anymore. So you don't want to wait to order your things. Um, we have been having a lot of fun going through the catalogs and just using some of the old, old things and just... They really are treasures, so it's not it's not like if you if it's retired and you get it that you won't ever use it because you will so let me get my comments up here. Hello, Nancy. All right, let me get here and here. There we go. There we go. We're all good to go. So tonight, I'm featuring a few different products that are retiring. So let me show you the Cottage Wreaths, which this is the only item that is not available tonight. So those are not available. However, the Country Wreaths, country wreaths. This is cottage wreaths and the dyes that go with it are the um, country wreaths. I'm going to try to tip those up. There's a lot of them. There are actually 22 of them. So um, we're going to use a couple of those tonight. We're also going to use the, um, oh, what are these called? They're bags. They're in color bags. Um, Twenty, twenty-three, twenty-five in color treat bags. They're treat bags. We're gonna use these. Um, one of them we're gonna cut apart, so we're gonna use a piece of it. And then we're also going to use the Moody Mauve uh, textured ribbon that's in color. Um, the bags are on sale for seven dollars. They're regularly ten. They're seven dollars. You get twenty-five of them, five of each of the in colors. The Moody Mauve Ribbon is regularly $8, and that's on sale for $4.80, and that is 10 yards. We are also going to use the In Color Dots. Um, those are regularly $8. They're on sale for $7.20. And the Country Wreaths Dyes are regularly $39. They're on sale for $35.10. $35.10. So, let's get started. I'm going to point you to my work table. Oh boy, again, I got a lot of stuff on it. All right, are we still good? Whew! So it said there was an audio disruption, and I turned my, um, my do not disturb on, so I'm not sure what happened there. How are you, Jill? I hope you're well. Beautiful day. I've got the curtains open, sun shining through, the windows open. Um, but it's a little breezy. All right. I'm going to point you to my work surface. You're back. Yay. Thank you, Nancy. I'm going to... Okay. Oh. I'm not sure why it's doing that. It's like crazy, crazy. I'm going to try to straighten out a little bit. All right. So I'm going to keep going. Um, this is copper clay. 
This is one of the in colors. And this is five and a half by eight and a half. Scored at four and a quarter. And I'm just gonna fold my card base in half, okay? Then I'm going to take a, a piece of a basic white, four by five and a quarter. You're stuck now. Am I still stuck, Nancy? It looks like it's going, but uh, I don't know. Okay. So now I want to, I want to decorate something on the inside. Not sure what. Um, I think I'm just going to do some uh, leaves. Went out and came back in. You're good now. Woohoo! Yay! Hopefully I'll stay good. Um, don't like it when I don't. Okay, I'm going to use my um, Daffodil Delight and just stamp here and maybe stamp off too. There we go. And that's going to go on the inside of my car base. I do have my adhesive. You know what? I'm going to use something that I got new. My, um, one of my dear friends, Lisa, gave it to me as an early birthday present. This is the stand for it. And this is the gun for it. And it's called my sweet petunia. Well, that's who makes it. Um, and it holds your your glue. You put the glue in the bottle. And then it has a tip, a fine tip. And then it holds in the um, base. Oh, you can't even see it. Let me get it back up here. It holds in the base. So your glue tip is always pointing down. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that awesome? So I'm just going to set that up there because you don't really need to see it while I'm working with it. And I'm going to, it, it really is, it's like a gun. So you just put it on. There you go. That's all you need. And I want this on the inside. There we go, that's the inside and the outside. So I cut a piece of, this is a treat bag, and I actually cut the copper clay and I cut it, let me tell you the measurements, um, three and three quarters by uh, five. So I'm going to glue this down. Um, I don't, this is just really thin paper. So I'm just going to put some dots because I don't want it to wrinkle or pucker my paper. And I'm going to glue this all the way to the top of the card base. Okay, woohoo, so far so good. Then I'm, um, actually I wanted to put some yellow on there. I'm, did I say Daffodil Delight? This is crushed curry, I'm sorry. I'm going to use my blending brush and some crushed curry and I'm just going to add an element of texture. Um, 
on this bag. I want to make sure it's there's enough on the outside. We got the camper all put in today to the camper repair place. They're saying it should be done today or Monday. I don't think we've heard today because the camper's not back in the yard. So it'll probably be Monday. All right. Then I'm going to take this piece of white and I'm going to I think I want it a little narrower. I'm going to trim it down just a just a smidge. Do I sound like some parent, some mom's smidge just a dash just a Yep. I have no idea what a smidge is. Actually, right now the smidge was a quarter of an inch. Yes, I like that better. Okay, now I'm going to glue this down. And again, I'm just taking my gun. I'm barely, I'm barely pushing the tri trigger. It is so awesome. Then I'm going to set that aside for a minute. I want to take a piece of scratch white. I wonder if that will fit on it. Yes, it will. I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use Old Olive. And I'm going to stamp the wreath on white paper. Oh, I, I turned it. I'm trying to think. Because the die goes a certain way. And I had it all lined up. There it is. There it is. That way. Keep your die the right direction, Arlena. All right. I'm going to ink this up with Old Olive. Press pretty hard and then it does give you the different colors because it's a distinctive stamp so it does give the different shading which I absolutely love distinctive stamps just for that reason and I'm going and I have not made these I, I have two different projects instead of two of the same card I have two different ones and um I have not made either one yet, so I'm going to only have one of each when we get done. All right, I want to set this aside. I want to set my inks aside because I'm going to bring in my mini cut emboss machine. Hello, Sue from Virginia. How are you doing? I hope well. And then I just want to make sure I line this up right. And then we have a beautiful wreath when we're done. I don't think I need the machine for anything else. I have the other pieces cut out, so 
I'm going to set that back aside. Then I want to, oh, I should have cut that a little, a little thinner so that the wreath would hang over the edges. Oh, well, no problem. I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals. Ooh, maybe I'll get a new sheet of dimensionals tonight. I have just a few bits left on it. So did everyone have a good day today? Good, I've got Matthew and KK this weekend. Yay! Are they watching too? I hope so. Hello, Matthew. Hello, KK. Oh, I wish I was at Grandma's house with you. Did you have something good for dinner? Mmm, I bet you did. Grandma's a good cook. I'm going to put this kind of in the center. And then I already die cut this pretty little wreath out. And I'm going to put it right over top of it. And I'm not, I'm not going to try to line it up or anything because I don't think there's a pattern with that. It, there's not. I, I just realized that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue every so often. And this is perfect for this die, this glue gun, because it's so precise. And it just, you have so much control over how much glue you let get out of it. Okay. Then I want, what do I want next? Um, I think I want a little strip of crushed curry. Um, I'm going to try a half inch strip. Nope, that was not a half inch strip. Maybe I'll do three quarters inch. Nope, three quarters is too much. Hmm, that's going to be tricky. I'm going to have to see if that works with the sentiment I want. Um, I'm going to say grateful, maybe grateful. Where's grateful? Ah, I think that is up here. That's not it. I do not have the grateful stamp, so I am going to say hello. Because you know me and my hellos. So you could use the go-to greetings for that one. I'm going to use copper clay. Hello. What kind of glue gun is that? Oh, hello, Deb. Um, yeah, so um, my friend Lisa got this for me for my birthday. It's by uh, made by um, my sweet petunia. And it comes with the base and the gun, the, the, um, the uh, glue bottle just pops in and out. And this gun puts pressure on the bottle, even pressure, so that you have an even flow of glue. But the tip is really fine. There's a, it comes with actually two tips, um, one fine and one a little bit bigger. 
um, but it lets you control your glue so much, so much. So I think you can just go to mysweetpetunia.com and you can order it. It's probably right on their landing page because it is, it is a hot item. And you can fill those bottles with your, with your uh, multi-purpose mono liquid glue, combo glue. I know I have that grateful somewhere. It's here somewhere. Okay. Then I want my snips, and I'm going to I'm going to cut it straight on. Wow, I haven't done that in a long time. And then I want, right now, I think I want, you know what? I think I want that in pumpkin pie. And I just so happen to have a piece of pumpkin pie right here. Because I don't want it to blend in with the wreath. I want it to kind of pop a little bit. So I'll get my hello out again. I just thought of Adele. Hello. Yeah, I don't even know the I don't even know that song. I I know it, but I don't know the words. I don't know words to songs. You're welcome, Deb. I think I'm gonna like that one better. I'm not sure. So what's everyone doing on a Friday night besides joining me, hanging out with me for a while? Any plans for the weekend? We are having dinner with Randy's brother and sister-in-law at a restaurant in Davison that's called Black Rock. So they bring you your steak and you cook it on a rock that is um, 750 degrees. Yowza, yowza, yowza. But it's fun. Fun, fun, fun. And we're going to take Courtney and Aiden, her fiance, with us. So Aiden will meet Uncle Jeff and Aunt Kathy. So they're all excited. I'm using the copper clay twine, which is carrying over. It's not retiring. And uh, there's the end right there. Woo! I was nervous there. Okay. I don't want it this curly. So I'm going to use my bone folder and just put it between my bone folder and my finger and just uh, run it through and it straightens it out a little bit. Then I want to tie a bow. Love the bow. Oh, I got fibers all over it. There we go. And a mini glue dot. there and then I have these two little pumpkin pie leaves that oh that's gonna hmm. I'm not sure that I like that but we'll go with it I'm going to put a little bit of glue here and a little bit on this one and then I'm going to pop 
this up with a dimensional. Oh, look, I got one left, one little corner. Okay. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? That's not Adele. That's another per that's another singer. All right, then I want to take some of my in color dots, specifically the copper clay. Look, I haven't used any of those yet. Um, and these are going to be fun to get off here. They they're really flat and they don't like to come off very well. There we go. I'll do one here. I'm going to use all three sizes. Oop. And one here. And I always, I never know where to put the, oh my goodness. There we go. we go. And there is a sweet fallish card, but it's using the Cottage Wreaths stamp set and the Country Wreaths dies. The stamp set's not available, but the dies are, the treat bags are, the uh, twine is carrying over, so those are. The in-color dots are retiring. Those are still available. So that's what we have for the first one. All right, I'm going to set that aside, set that aside, set this aside. Okay, next thing we have is the Moody Mauve treat bag, and it's the whole bag. And I have a piece of white, see, I didn't even cut that right, but, and that would bother a lot of people, but I'm not worrying about it because... I just don't worry about things like that. <laughs> and then I have a little piece. It is, let me tell you how big this is. It is one inch by two inches. And all I'm going to do is, I want it to stick right away, so I'm not gonna use the glue. I'm going to use my stamp and seal and I'm going to put it on both ends. Uh, it's not running. There it goes. Um, and then I want um, Actually, I'm going to set that aside. I don't want to glue that down yet. I'm going to t I'm going to set my treat bag aside and concentrate on this big tag. So, I am going to take I'm going to take this stamp and. The three, they look like three little oak leaves is what they look like. I'm going to take those. I'm going to put this one back. There's an acorn in here, a spider, all kinds of fun things. All right. This is going to be tricky, guys. So I'm going to take my old olive. And I'm going to... Ink this up, and I'm going to make, just go around in circles. Go around in circles. Doesn't that sound funny? Um, there. 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 I guess I don't have to say there every time I stamp.
All right. Then I'm going to close this up. Maybe. My ink pads are like sticking. So I'm thinking I need to get some chapstick on them and get them to slide a little better. Okay, then I'm going to take Moody Mauve and I'm going to take those three um, little leaves. I was getting to it. I was getting to it. And notice I'm turning my paper, not the stamp. All right. Close this up. Yes. Isn't it beautiful? That stamped branch, Nancy, is wonderful. How are you doing, Nancy? I hope good. I hope you had a good day today. Um, then I want mauve, mauve. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to uncurl this a little bit. I'm trying to do it so it's not over the uh, paper so I don't get all those fibers on it, but I, I don't know. Okay, I want to just pause for a second and take a strip of scrap white. Um, Oh, I love this. This saying, oh, I didn't even know this was in here. Crazy. Crazy how you don't know things are in a stamp set. This stamp says some people just make life better. Oh, is that not just so wonderful? I think it is. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm going to do this in Moody Moth. Yay! Oh, they made a nice impression. Now that I am watching. Oh, good, Nancy. I'm glad I can make your make a few minutes of your day a little, little easy, a little easier, easier. And uh, just take your mind off of things. Okay. Then this one I am doing on an angle. That other one stressed me out a little bit. Okay. And then I want... Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. How do I want to do this? I'm trying to think. I think I want to... Put no, uh, I think I'm so in the treat bag. What what I what my dilemma is? I'm trying to figure out if I want to put something in there before I tie the ribbon around or after. Which I think I want to put it in before. So I have a um mm -hmm. wing of Stella. So I'm just gonna put that in there. It sticks out a little bit so they can see what they're getting. Then I'm going to take this piece that was one inch by two inch. And I'm going to uh -huh, just kind of put that down like a little loop, little loop. Then I'm going to thread this through here. I think I want to go this way. Too. I don't know what way I want to go. I probably should have put it in before I fold. Oh, it went through. It went through really easy. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, how did they do this? So they put this. Uh, yes, I'm looking at a picture, you guys. It's actually in the catalog. So I want to actually come around here and I'm going to go through this loop again. Yowza. Yeah, now it doesn't want to go through because it's catching up, but it's coming. It's coming. There we go. All right. All right. So I have that. I have this. Do I have enough there? Oh, that's not very long. All right, then, so you see how I did that? I looped it through there twice. And then I'm going to tie this on like so. And tie a bow. I'm just fussing with it now. I think I'm gonna straighten this out a little bit. Just a little. I like it a little curly. And then I want I want this tag to stay a little um you know on an angle so i'm going to use my take my pick tool the point end my uh-huh my mini glue dots I don't, oh, they're right here. Day. See, the things that you really need, that you really want, are right in front of your eyes usually. And I'm just going to put a couple on each corner, or one on each corner, or a couple of the corners. position it where I want it. And stick it down. There we go. Alright. Then I want a piece of the textured trim. This again is Moody Mauve. And I just want a little bit. So it's going to go under the sentiment like so. I'm going to do that at a more defined angle. And a defined angle. This trim is still available as well. So, um... You can still get it as of right before I went live. I'm going to put some stamp and seal on there. I'm going to put this right in the middle of here. I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals. Oh look, I only have one dimensional. 
So you know what that means? I have to open another pack. Uh, I don't have any there. Let me see. Brand new dimensionals. Love it, love it, love it. I usually just put my two up in front, you know, the two extra up in front of me, throw the cardboard away, and then I have my one that I'm going to start using. Nice. Oh, I want that. I want that straight on. Do I? I do want that straight on. That's going to bother some people. But if I go... I think that will be all right. That will be all right. Okay, now I want to bring in those dots again. And I want to use the Moody Mauve ones. So I'm going to try to get up under it. And... And a medium size one. And a small one. There we go. And there is a little gift bag for uh, to give a gift to someone. So I did try to put three, two and three um, gift cards, not gift cards, you know, cards that we make like this with envelopes. I try to put two in and I try to put three in. They don't fit. They don't work well at all. So it has to be something, something like this. I tried an embossing folder and the embossing folder was just a smidge too um, wide. Thank you, Nancy. Um, you could also put in some blends if you wanted to. That would work. Um, yeah, so it, it, a lot of different things you could put in there. So there's that. Let me move some stuff. And that. So that is the Cottage Wreath stamp set and the Country Wreaths dies also featuring the textured ribbon and the in-color dots. All of those are retiring. They're all available still except the stamp set. Um, thank you for the hearts. Um, so um, cute projects, really cute. I, I really like that. I like how we kind of finished off the inside of the card as well. Um, so I hope you like it. I'm going to point you back to me. And yes, it was, they are definitely fallish. This, this is almost Christmassy, um, which is fine with me, you know, because we can have Christmas every day. Um, but as I said yesterday, it's getting more difficult to find items that are retiring that are still available. So um, it's kind of hit or miss now. So I'm doing the best I can. Um, oh, thank you. Um, actually, let me show you. I, on page 39 of your annual catalog, so I did, um, this card and this bag. So I did not come up with them. I cased those identically. So, um, I think this white strip, um, on the card uh, is a little thinner in the picture than what my card ended up being, but it's still okay. It's still okay. All right. So tomorrow is Saturday. Um, I will be coming to you not at night because remember I'm going out to dinner. So, um, it will be probably early afternoon um, I hope you can join me. If not, you can always watch the replay. 
and it will be day 20. So day 19 is in the bag. We're so glad. I am happy you joined me. It makes my heart very happy um, to hang out with my Stampin' friends and family. Um, it does give us a time to just pause and relax and just take a moment for us because we are very important. And if we don't take care of ourselves, nobody else usually does. So we got to make sure we do that. So take time for yourself. You guys have a wonderful evening. The sun is still in the sky. It has not set yet here in Michigan. So I am going to enjoy some more sunshine and enjoy my husband. We're home alone tonight. Well, we got three dogs, but you know, no kids. And actually they're not kids. They're all adults. I mean, my twins are going to be 26 in a couple weeks. So oh, how does that happen? Anyway, you guys have a wonderful evening and I will see you back here tomorrow and you take care. I love you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>